Nigel Lee from Sax School. Well, today we're going to do a fun warm up, but we're going to do it in the style of DJ sax or house sax. This is such a cool style of playing, and it's actually something we're digging into with our Sax School members all the way through this month inside Sax School. If you want to find out more about this, you can go check out what we're doing inside Sax School with a 14 day trial. I'll put a link down below. There's like a thousand lessons in there, including a load of amazing masterclasses with the world's best players, and a masterclass we're doing this month with a great Californian DJ Sax artist called Jason Whitmore. So you get access to all that with the 14 day trial. Check it out if you're keen to do some more. Also, if you're new here, then don't forget to click the subscribe button so you find out about new lessons that we're doing all the time. Right, let me tell you how today's workout is going to work. Uh, I have a free PDF for you for this lesson and you should definitely grab it. It's also got a practice track. All of our PDFs and practice tracks, all of our free stuff is available inside the Sax School Locker. It's completely free and you can get it from the courses page of our website. I'll put a link here on the screen or in the description down below. So zip across now and grab that so that you've got the PDF. And this is a warm up that you can use over and over. Uh, and it's, you know, even if you're not into DJ Sax or house sax, you'll love this because it'll just push you a little bit out of your comfort zone. I'm gonna demonstrate on alto saxophone, but you could also use tenor or soprano or barry sax. And today's warm up is basically starting to get our fingers going, getting our mouth going, and having a bit of fun, and building up our pentatonic familiarity. So we're gonna work through a little pentatonic pattern. This is exactly the sort of thing that you might use when you're playing through a DJ sax or a house track, or indeed any sort of pop or commercial style. Oh, hey, I should just mention too that we're using a melody block, a little line or a lick in this warm up today. That's actually one of the ones that we learned in the four DJ House Licks lesson I stuck on YouTube recently. I'll put a link up here for you and you should definitely go check that out next because there's some really great information in there that you can use when playing in this style. Okay, let's get stuck in. <laughs> Okay, so I'll demonstrate in the alto sax, and really everything that we're playing today is going to be based on this pentatonic. It's a major pentatonic, it's a D major pentatonic for alto saxophone, D, E, F sharp, A, B, and then D again at the top. Or if you're on a tenor saxophone, it's the G major pentatonic, so that's G, A, B, D, E, and G. So on the alto sax, it sounds like this. <laughs> And you can, of course, you can play that over your whole range, okay? Right, so I'll pop on the track so we can hear what it sounds like, and then we can get started. Now, in this warm up today, we're going to work through a whole bunch of four bar phrases. And we're going to start with this first one where we're literally just doing the root note and the fifth note, four counts on each note. Think about getting your embouchure warmed up, a nice solid tone and really good intonation. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, for the next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it into half count notes. So that's minims or um, two count notes. And we're gonna do the same rough pattern, okay? So the root and the fifth, going all the way up to high D. Here we go. One, two, three. I love that sort of exercise. You really gotta try and keep your embouchure set though. And think about your intonation because when we jump back down to that low note and then up to the very high note, it's a real stress for our embouchure, but it's a great workout. I'd suggest doing that over and over as many times as you can. Let's go on to the next exercise. So in this time, in this exercise, we're gonna move in a descending pattern through, a, through the pentatonic, just in a four note grouping. We're gonna do two of them, okay? Let's try it. One, two, three. Let's try it again. Fingers close to the keys. Okay, getting warmed up. Let's try it again. A nice full sound here. Here we go. Right, 
right, we're rocking through this. Let's look at the next exercise. Now this time, we're gonna do the same four note descending pattern, but we're gonna double the speed up, okay? So now we're in eighth notes or quavers. Keep your fingers close to those keys. Here we go. One, two, three. And let's keep going down. And let's do it again. And again. One more time. Let's do it again, we're having fun. Okay, you ready for a challenge? This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna double it up. We're gonna do 16th notes or semi-quavers. we have really gotta keep your fingers close to those keys. Here we go. Oh, well done. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to just take it to the final step here and see if we can use that descending four note pattern as a line that we might use if we were actually playing over a house track. So we're going to join them together and make it a bit fun. If you want to sit out the first time through and listen to the way I play it, we're going to go through four times. Here we go. Two, one, two, three. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit now, and we're gonna look at a new line. This time it's a simple ascending line, but we're gonna use some grace notes. If you find the grace notes challenging, leave them out, just concentrate on the main notes. But let's start on the F sharp for the alto, or the B for the tenor. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, let's have some fun now with that pattern and we're gonna use it as if we might actually be playing over a house track, okay? So we're gonna mix it up a little bit faster, four times, here we go. Just to finish off now, we're gonna combine all those ideas that we've just used and have, and have a bit of a jam. So we're gonna do, I'll do two bars, then you can do two bars. Keep it simple, but use some of those ideas that we've already been using in the warm up and just see what you come up with. Now remember, you don't have to copy me exactly. I just want you to use what I'm playing as a bit of inspiration as you come up with your own ideas. Here we go.
how you had to get on with that. I hope you had fun with it. Well done if you made it all the way through to the end with me. But it's okay if you found some of those lines a bit tricky because you know what, that's why we practice, right? So we can get better at the things that we find difficult. So what I suggest you do is make sure you download the PDF, grab that backing track, and then work through each of these exercises as many times as you need to in your daily warm up until you can get your fingers really flying over those patterns along with the groove. It's really important that you listen in to the backing track and you keep as locked in with that drum and bass pattern as you can. And then also experiment with making up your own ideas, using the ideas that are written out on the page there as inspiration as you create your own amazing lines using that pentatonic mode. And you can do all sorts of stuff going up and down the range, breaking up those four note patterns, you know, I'm sure there's a million different things. You could practice that for years and still come up with something new. So have some fun with that. Don't forget, you can check it out on the tenor or the barry or the soprano. It'll work on any saxophone. And you know what? If you enjoyed this, I'd love it if you'd leave me a little comment down below and let me know. Do you want me to make more lessons like this? Okay, well, hey, thanks so much for joining me today. And don't forget, if you want to dig in further with this style, DJ Sax, or any other style, really, go grab the 14-day trial to Sax School. It's a great way to stick your toe in the water and see what we're doing over at Sax School. You can try out some lessons, get some help from the tutors. You can connect with our amazing community of thousands of learners. And you can join one of our live masterclasses as well. There's tons to keep you busy. And the first 14 days are absolutely free. So it's a great way to explore what we're doing. But most importantly, have loads of fun on your saxophone. Keep practicing hard. And I'll catch you next time. Hey, here's a great video that you can go and check out next. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then click here and go and subscribe so you know about the new videos. All right, go on, click the button. I'll catch you next time.